Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to teach you, I'm going to teach you how you can create a triangle calculator. So what it does is we'll automatic, you automatically use the Pythagorean Theorem and calculate uh, the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse calculator. Now, it's actually quite simple. There's not much to it. It's a good start of project. teaches you about inputs, variables, um, a little bit of um, what Python could do as far as the math is concerned because we are in Python so and of course I'm using um, Visual Studio Codes but you can use whatever editing or text editor um, you wish. Um, I will leave a link to download OBS, or not OBS, but um, Visual Studio Codes in the description below because this is my personal favorite. And without a further ado, let's get into it. So, right, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need to set input um, for the A and B side. So you're going to want to put side A and side B. Um, so we're just going to do that real simply by declaring a variable. So A is but we're also going to want it to be an input, so, but this, remember, it's going to be an integer, so, um, it's going to be a number, 1 through infinity, uh, you know, being negative, okay. so we're going to integer, so int, and then in parentheses, we're going to do input, so input just like this, and then in other parentheses, we're going to enter side A. So then we're going to just surround that, that and oops, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and create the same thing for side B input. Enter side B. B. Just like that. Cool. So what we're going to do now, we can run this right now, and what that's going to do is in the terminal right here, we're just going it's going to allow us to plug in a couple numbers. It's not going to do much because we didn't add anything extra, but that's basically what these inputs do. So right now we're declaring A to be side A, so you're going to put side A, so whatever you want in the side A is going to be and then side B. Um, and then that's going. So then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to, I'm just going to create a number. So that's going to be another variable. So it's equal to, um, this time what we're going to do is we're going to actually do the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But what we're going to, what well, this is, this finds c squared. So we're going to do a now, to do the squared function, so it's going to be two of these asterisks, or these stars, which is shift 8. So, and then we're going to square it. And then plus b squared. So you can just do a simple plus. Um, that's how you do um, plus. You add things in uh, Python. So, um... So that's going to basically declare the number. So it's going to basically, what it's going to do is it takes these two, whatever you input in here, and then it's going to square them, and it's going to add these two. Now we could go ahead and just write print num, just like that, and we could run it, and so, I don't know, 2 squared plus, so 2, so it should be 8, so because 2 squared plus 2 squared is 8, um, we can, we can do something a little more, um, complex, so maybe 2 squared plus 3 squared, that should be 13, because 2 times 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13. So, that's that, so we just get rid of that. Now, how are we going to take the square root? So we're going to import math, just like so, uh, not Oh, mm, uh, math maybe like that, yeah. Um, 
And then we're going to create the answer is equal to math dot square, um, S-Q-R-T, that's square root. And then in parentheses, we're going to do num, the variable for number. Now, it doesn't have to be num, and these don't have to be A and B. Those are just the variables I have decided to choose. Now, if you are copying exact what I'm doing, then it would be num, but if not, just be sure to, that the ans answer or whatever is equal to math square dot square root, and in the parentheses is your variable for this math right up here. So now we're going to go ahead and print it, and we're going to do print um, side c, oops, is and then colon and then it's going to print it. So basically, what's happening here is we are declaring the variables. Um, this one right up here. This takes um, choose um, your numbers. So choosing what you want to calculate. This. Um, Squares the numbers and adds them because um, if you know a a squared plus b squared um, equals c squared. If, if in case you're not familiar, um, then this one is just going to basically take the square root of the number. Um, after being squared and added. So it takes the final output for this. Then what we're going to want to do is um, is you display your final answer. So just like so. So we're going to run, start debugging. And we're going to do the Pygram triplet, so it's 2, 3, oop. Oh, uh, it would be helpful if you actually made sure to actually write with the print to actually be sure to include um, your answer. So, side C, answer, just like that. Uh, now we're going to run again to... I believe it's, I believe it's, um, uh, it's three, four, three, four, five, um, yeah, so three, four, and you should get 5.0, so that's the Pygram triplet, or any combination like that, so I'm going to show, and, but you can do whatever number, so you, let's say, um, oh, whoops, um, say, I don't know, 5, 12, and you got your side C. So, yeah, uh, it's this nice, uh, simple project um, uh, that should teach you a little bit about Python and how it works a little bit, and, you know, this will also be helpful for um, math, I guess. Um, you know, if you decide to be so, you know, sophisticated, you're not going to go to no website um, and just use Google and all that rubbish. No, you're going to create your calculator. You're going to you're gonna open up your text editor, you could also use in the browser, and you're going to create your own. Um, honestly, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, you know, power, more power to you if you choose to do that, because um, programming, it's a good skill to have. Um, and this is a nice little basic intro, or, um, just basically get you into coding and programming. Now, this video is quite short, and so does, there's not much to it. Um, and like I said, I'll leave the descript I'll in the description below I will leave a I'll leave a link to the
page where you can download um, Visual Studio Code. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. It always helps out the channel. And for more content like this, um, yeah, subscribing will be appreciated. And I will catch you on another one.